What up YouTube and welcome back to another installment of Ask Told by Brittany D And of course I am Brittany D and today I am back with another lock tutorial for you guys And in today's video I will be reattaching my favorite lock now you may be asking yourself why is this my favorite lock because this lock once belonged to my husband and I attached it to my hair like there's a full background story about this if you guys check out my YouTube channel I do have a video about it go ahead and check it out but you guys know I don't like wasting time chit chatting let's jump right into this tutorial so here's some afro bunk hair that I got from lock sanity this is their natural unprocessed hair and I love using this because it's easier to dye I did dye this blonde it was brown at one point but I use this hair to repair my favorite lock it was experiencing some gaps and spacing and so I just needed that hair to fill it up I really should have done a before and after my bad because this lock was really on its last leg moving on my favorite tool to use is the single crochet needle it takes a little bit more time to work with but it's perfect for precise movement and it makes the locks look more mature you guys understand what I'm saying? It just gives off that more mature stage lock look, you know? But anyway, we're gonna start off by removing that leftover extension hair. So I'm just going to comb it out. And you wanna do this very gently. You just don't wanna start at the top of the lock and try to work down. You just wanna gradually comb out the hair little by little. Just remember that, take your time. So after a few minutes of combing, you can see the extension hair starting to loosen. And notice how I have the comb held sideways. This seemed to work better with penetrating the locks and combing it downward. I don't know if it's scientifically proven, but for me, it seemed to work. So boom, I have removed all the hair and this is my hair. And now I'm going to begin combing out this lock. And you see, first I started with the tip and then I turned it sideways and boom. And you see, a lot of things are just better on your side. No, I'm sorry, that's inappropriate. Mm. But we're going to continue combing out my lock and you will see I have a lot of lint and, and a lot of critters in there. Not really critters, but a lot of lint balls. But that's to be expected with locks, especially when you're combing them out. And um, I'm not combing it out all the way. I just need enough hair so I can reattach my favorite lock. So comb as much hair that you need to reattach your lock. So I believe I have reached my end point. I think I have enough hair to reattach my lock. Now I'm going to switch my attention over to the actual lock extension and I'm going to begin combing out the top part of that lock. Again, using the same technique by turning the comb sideways and just gently combing the hair out. Now that I have finished combing out my hair and the lock extension, it's time to reinstall this extension. So you wanna start off by placing the lock in between those two pieces of hair. Then I'm gonna take the top of that lock extension and I'm going to bring it over, as you can see, bring it over that piece of hair and, and place it in the middle so you want to grab it and place the extension hair in the middle once it's in the middle you want to begin braiding it downward just like a regular braid so if you know how to braid this is going to be super easy for you and if you don't know how to braid this may be a little difficult for you but the technique overall is pretty pretty simple so you want to continue braiding over and over and over again until you have braided all of your natural hair and there's nothing left for you to braid Once you are done braiding your hair, you want to take what's ever left and begin to wrap it around the lock. So I started at the top and slowly begin to work my way down. And this helps with avoiding putting lumps or bumps in your locks. Now we're taking my handy dandy single crochet needle and we're going to begin jabbing this lock. Yes, we're going to begin the fun but dangerous part which is crocheting. And I say dangerous because if you ever stabbed yourself with one of these bad boys, ha 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 ha. Yes, you know it hurts. But yes, we're gonna begin locking in this extension. I'm using a new technique that I saw on Instagram. If you follow Napsar underscore NYC on Instagram, then you guys have seen this technique all over their page. It's a very simple technique. It's simply just flipping the crochet needle back and forth. But what I'm doing right now, I'm just taking a piece of this Afro bunk hair and I'm going to use some of this hair to fill in that gap. As you can see, I'm just using my finger to find that gap and I'm just going to place that bunk hair right there and begin to wrap it very tightly around that lock because I really want this to be the last time this lock slips out, okay? So we're going to really secure it. 
now that I have finished wrapping the hair around my favorite lock, we're going to begin crocheting the hair once again. Again, I'm going to pick up my single crochet needle and simply flip the crochet needle back and forth. And really quickly, I just want to show you guys a before image so you guys can see what I'm working with now and how different it's going to look later. So let's jump right back into it. And again, as you can see, I'm just taking that needle and just flipping it back and forth, back and forth. And you want to keep on doing that over and over and over again until you have instant lock all your hair. After a few minutes of crocheting, we got ourselves a new lock. And I'm just going to give it a few palm rolls to give it that nice shape. And it's good as new, yes, like it never left the nest. I love it. Now that the king has returned, it's time for me to give it a little flexibility because he is a little stiff right now with all that poking and prying. He's a little stiff, so we're going to give him a nice little curl very simple to do all you need is your smallest perm rod and you want to wrap the end of the lock around that perm rod and begin to roll it towards your head then you want to secure it and add your favorite mousse and boom you are done so that is how I reattach my locks super easy right right but that is not what I really wanted to talk to you guys about there's a new challenge circulating across social media right now especially in the lock community It is the no retwist until 20 2022 challenge and when I say I am here for this challenge I am here for it this is a great opportunity for my fellow lock beauties to embrace our other features because we are much more than just hair a lot of you still gotta realize it's not the retwist that make you feel good it's the confidence that the retwist gives you and you know what you don't need a retwist to feel confident like there's other ways you could feel confident you know put on some makeup throw on that outfit that makes you feel yourself like no other you know put on that fragrance that make you smell like that be you know focus on the other parts of you because you and your locks are beautiful with or without a fresh retwist okay and I don't know what better time than now because since we are transitioning over into the colder seasons this is the perfect time to really embrace that turban game lock game so get your caps scabs scarves you name it <laughs> get them all and do not be afraid to experiment with different styles because there is a lot of things you can do with your hair without retwisting them but i'm done preaching to y'all if you guys did like this tutorial please remember to give me a big thumbs up subscribe so you can be a part of the lock family and if you really got the and the confidence join me on this no retwist until 2022 challenge but i hope you guys have a happy and safe halloween until next time bye bye I put a spell on you.